Hi, my name's Will Raisin, and today I want to go through the hooks that I use for commercial fishing. Obviously, on the market, there's a massive amount of different hooks, different coloured hooks, different makes, and it can become quite confusing. I quite like to simplify things, and I use the same hooks for quite a lot of my fishing, although I do use a few different patterns, and today I want to go through those with you and tell you exactly the reasons why. I'm going to start with the spade end hooks that I use for 90% of my carp fishing and F1 fishing, not just in the summer, but in the colder months. Those of you that have seen my articles will see that I do use a lot of the same hooks, but again, they're tried, they're trusted, and if I'm confident in them, and I know they're not gonna let me down, it's one less thing for me to worry about. I can worry about the more important things with the plumbing up, the feeding. Today, I'm gonna go through the hooks that I really do put my faith in. Number one hook, when I'm talking about margin carp fishing or anything where I've got to really pull the fish and give them some serious stick is the gamma carp. They're quite a silvery looking hook but again they're very very strong. The colour doesn't put me off because this is used in the warmer months when the water's quite coloured. Double corn, treble corn, double dendrobina, big bits of meat, big bunches of maggots. This is a hook I used in the international fisher mania when I caught a number of carp down the edge on a big bunch of maggots and it really was one of those days where you had to give the fish some stick and get them in quick and again this hook didn't let me down. Fantastic hook and my number one choice when I've really got to pull the fish hard. Again a hook on the similar sort of um, basis is the G-Point Gamma Power. Again this is quite a cult hook, a lot of people would have heard a lot about this hook and it's a hook I use for a lot of my medium style fishing. From 016 line, 018, sometimes 020, but 016 and 018, those medium sort of days, top five fishing, long pole fishing. It's as much darker hook than the carp hook, but again, it's a very, very strong, durable hook. The points are superb on all the gamma cats who hooks, they don't let you down. When you're sitting down in your tack room and you're tying up 50, 60 hooks, the last thing you want is to have poor quality hooks, either rust or blunt easy. These ones, they never let you down. They're a quality hook. And like I say, from a medium style carp fishing or big F ones, again, this is one of my number one choices. Coming down to a hook that you probably have all heard of, and it really is a fantastic hook for slightly lighter fishing, is the Gamma Pellet. Again, I use this for a lot of my bream fishing as well, but small F ones to medium F ones and even small carp. It really is a fantastic hook. And again, I don't want to repeat myself, but the strength, the durability, the reliability have really underlined this hook for me as being the number one for that real light fishing 010, 012, 014 hook lengths. Those days in the winter when you're really finding it hard to catch the fish. A hook like this coupled with fluorocarbon line will definitely get you more bites. And more importantly, again, like I said about the Gamma Power, the points don't go, they don't rust, they don't blunt, and you're not going to have to change your hook when you're in amongst a few fish in that last hour of a match, when time is, is, is really, really important. You don't want to be changing your hooks. That one's not going to let you down. Now, going on to, obviously, fishing with hair rigs, you do need eyed hooks. Again, for real strong fishing, you've got the QM1, and again, this really is billed as a straight lead or a method feeder hook. But for a lot of my dobbing, it's a hook that I use for real like aggressive fishing when you're swinging at fish with big bits of meat in the summer months and you want a hook that's going to go in. And like I say, it really is known as a bomb stroke method hook, but the shape of the hook is almost like a circle hook. And like I say, I found it fantastic for dobbing, fantastic for fishing shallow, for big fish, for big weights. Again, it's one of those hooks that isn't going to let you down. It's got a nice big eye, so you can tie it with 022 mainline, 020, like I say, will go through the eye absolutely easy. And it really is a fantastic hook for dobbing or catching big weights of fish shallow. Going on to my next hook, again, it's the eyed MWG. This is a new Teflon coated one. Again, it's got a nice big eye. It's gonna, you're going to be able to get line in excess of 020 back through it when you're tying a knotless knot. Like I say, they're very sharp. There's a variety of sizes from 12s right down to 20s. And even in the colder months when you're fishing hard pellets on the bottom, 4 mils and 6 mils, there is a hook to suit. It really has bridged a gap between carp anglers 
and carp match anglers. This hook, like I say, is used widely and it's one that I use and it doesn't let me down. Pellet waggler fishing, bomb fishing, long pole fishing on the bottom with hard pellets. Like I say, it really is probably my number one hook for hair rigging. Obviously, a lot of hair rigging involves fishing in the winter. When you're fishing in the winter, you're not always fishing for real big fish. And the G-point wide gape eyed hook is a slightly toned down eyed hook. Again, a nice size eye so you can get the line back through it. But this is the hook for when you're fishing 010, 012, maybe 014 fluorocarbon with four and six mil hard pellets in the winter for F1s or small carp. Like I say, it's very, very sharp. It's a nice dark hook which is absolutely perfect in cold clear water. My number one choice for fishing light lines but when you want to use a hair rig. The only other two hooks I really want to touch on now, like I say, that's the hooks, those are the hooks that I use for 99% of my commercial fishing. There is an odd time I do use a slightly different hook. One of those times is when I'm fishing maggots for F1s in the winter, a 510 again is my number one choice for this. It's a very, very sharp hook, a nice light hook, nice long shank so you can tie it nice and easily. Like I say, the bait presentation on these very ultra fine, sharp barbless hooks, especially when you're talking about maggots, is unbelievable. You can put the maggot on very lightly hooked and like I say, the, the maggot doesn't even look like it's hooked. And as you know, I put a lot of emphasis on bait presentation. And it's hooks like this, coupled with very, very light hook lengths in the winter will definitely get you more bites, purely because your bait presentation is unbelievable. The only other hook that I do tend to use, again, is the F1 Guru Pellet Hook. Again, this is quite a new hook on the market, but it's a hook I've used for quite a while. When you're using soft pellets, like I say, and you want to use a very, very light hook, it's probably a little bit of a step down from a gamma pellet. Again, it's very, very good for those small F1s, small skimmers, when you just want to fish that little bit lighter. So like I say, there's a few hooks there, but they're tried and trusted, and hopefully I've given you the reasons why I use them and what I use them for.